Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this little guy. This is the Machine Era uh, Field Compact Pen. Um, first off, full disclosure, I want to thank Machine Era for sending these guys along. These were provided to me for free as a review sample, so I want to make sure that you know that. I'm trying not to let that affect my review, but nonetheless, it's something I should let you know about. Um, and I told them, of course, I would be talking about the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly. It might be a gem, it might be junk, and in fact, the negative review is definitely on the table. So, um, anyways, there you go. Um, next thing, size comparison real quick. Here it is again against a uh, typical big click stick sort of pen. Here it is against Pilot G2. Um, here it is against uh, one of my favorite very compact pens. This is the uh, Caveco Lilliput fountain pen and the Vision Metal LP5 sort of thing. And then we'll compare it against Machine Era's other two pens. This guy is the Field, not compact, just the regular Field. And this guy is the Machine Era Classic, which is... Uh, yeah, definitely my favorite of all of them. So, um, there you go. And then finally, this is going to be a quick review, because honestly, that's about what it takes for this guy. So, uh, let's go ahead and talk about what's good about this guy and what is not so good about this guy. For the first, uh, on the first part, for the, the good side, there are a lot of good metal options here. You've got, uh, brass, you've got steel, and you've got DLC steel. This is the brass, this is steel, the DLC is gonna look something like this, except it's a different pen. Um, but th th there you go, and the pricing actually isn't all that crazy. It's 38 bucks for the, uh, brass, it's 42 for the steel, 46 for the DLC. You know what? Th th that's fine. Those are reasonable prices, uh, for an everyday carry pen, especially one that is made relatively well. Next thing, the click mechanism, although it it isn't terribly clicky, actually. It's just like you don't get the strong sense of feedback that you do off like a pocket jaw where it's like, oh, yeah. This is just like a you press it and it's probably deployed. There you go. Um, it works. It's fine. So uh, there you go. Next thing, um, this has uh, relatively easy to swap pen refills. That's kind of one of the things that they're, they're, they're really pushing with this guy is because it takes these little Schmidt um, the D1 refills here. It's a uh, Schmidt, that is. Um, it's very easy to take, take them out and then to swap them across. So if you've got, you know, red and bl uh, blue or something like that, it's very easy to go through and just swap that over. No problem. And that is something that can be nice if you find yourself changing colors a lot. Um, not so something I tend to find myself doing, and honestly, it's not that much harder than any other pen that I've used, but at the same time, or I'm sorry, not that much easier, but, you know, I'll give them that. It's certainly a thing. Next thing, you can see here that actually when the pen is uh, disassembled here, and you can disassemble it into three chunks, but you don't need to, ever, um, but when the pen is disassembled, there were no captives, uh, there were no uh, loose springs, that is. The only spring on this guy is kind of trapped in position here. And so uh, that, that's absolutely a nice thing. Um, next thing here, uh, this is actually still a relatively small pen. Um, I do appreciate that fact. Uh, there, there are not that many pens that are this small out there in the world, and particularly ones that are, uh, you know, hosting a, a refill that's worth a damn, I guess. Um, so, you know, that, that, that's good. As you can tell, I'm struggling a little bit here. But um, to me, at least, that's what's good, is that this is relatively small. It's not all that light, but I digress. Um, there are no losable springs. It's easy to swap out the refill. Fills. It's got a pretty easy to use click mechanism, and there are lots of metal options if you count three as lots. On the bad side, unfortunately, there are a lot of unfortunate elements to this pen here. Um, to start with, I feel like the back doesn't match the front of this pen. Like the front is one diameter, then it feels like the middle is a slightly different diameter, and then there's the back part that's just sort of tacked on there. It looks like a, a pen was sitting on a table, and another pen just like rear-ended it and got stuck. That's how I, I, I picture this, this being made, um, is that they've just got a lot of little collisions going on there. Um, and so that's a, that's a design detail, but it's absolutely not something I'm in love with. Next thing, unfortunately, there are some disadvantages to having the clip as a part of your clicky mechanism, um, because it's very easy as you're gripping the pen to have the clip be fighting you in the process there. The clip is trying to move inside your hand, and you, you can do it, generally speaking, but the, I think there's a good reason that a lot of clicky sorts of mechanisms either use the clip itself as the mechanism, like on this guy here, or have the, the, the clip unmoving as the clicking happens. That's not something that's super ideal. Next thing, D1 refill. Now look, this is not a bad refill. There are lots of options and they are relatively cheap out there. Um, you can buy these for, you know, I want to say it's like a buck fifty or something like that. But the thing is, it's not going to have all that much in the way of capacity. It'll be fine. But and they're harder to find. You're unlikely to just walk into a, an office store, for instance, and find a D1 refill. Um, I... 
I'm trying to remember the last time I checked. Either way, um, they're, they're not out there in the same way that you can usually scare up a pilot G2 or something like that. So um, that, that, that's that's something I'm not particularly in love with there. Um, the, the, the refill is fine, but it strikes me as kind of strange, particularly when, like, this guy is using a much bigger refill, a, a space pen compatible kind of thing. It strikes me as strange that there's that much difference in refill between these pens, which are not that different in actual practice. So um, there you go. And then finally, uh, not quite finally, I'm sorry, Ben ultimately, um, the uh, pen ultimately? Uh, uh, um, anyways, it's very, very easy. I, I was carrying this guy actually on my honeymoon in part um, in my uh, my pants pocket here and I uh, had this kind of clipped in the corner of the pocket, but I found myself actually on two different occasions with the pen and refill sticking out like this in my pocket and then this guy sitting in the bottom of my pocket here. And so I had an exposed pen and usually at that point I would kind of notice before too long because the, the, the clip is no longer making solid contact, but it seems very easy for this to come unscrewed while it's actually in your pocket, at which point you've got a refill bear in there. But more importantly, um, very, very regularly, I found myself with this guy clicked on while it's sitting in my pocket because it's very easy. As this is sitting in your pocket, all it takes is a little bit of differential pressure. Like the front of the pen is bound up on something, then you lean forward and you've just clicked the pen open. So now you have a refill open in the front of your pocket there. And that's, uh, that's just not great. And so I, on a variety of occasions, I found this pen already deployed when I go to take it out of my pocket. And that's not something I particularly enjoy. Um, and it's not something that a lot of pens have a trouble with. So um, I'm not, not a fan of that really at all. And to me, those are the bad things, is that it's very easy to accidentally click on in your pocket. So you're going to spend a fair amount of time drawing on the inside of your pocket. It's also pretty easy for this to come unscrewed in your pocket, which is not something I appreciate. The D1 refill has relatively low capacity. It's a little harder to find. Um, it is not necessarily necessarily a great thing to have the clip on the same thing that you're trying to click in terms of being able to click it reliably. And then the back part of this pen really doesn't feel like it matches the front part of the pen and even the middle's a little off. I, I just don't love the design here. And so final conclusions, honestly, some machine errors sent me three different pens. They sent me the uh, the, the, the field, the field compact, and their the, the classic. And this guy is by a mile my least favorite of them. It's a nice idea. I'll certainly give them that. But the thing is, it's just got a number of Achilles heels that just make it uh, really unenjoyable to carry. Um, it, it, that's kind of a good, I don't know, for me it feels like a good sense of my, my opinions of a product is when I realize, okay, I think it's time to move on to the next thing. Sometimes I feel relatively little where it's just like, you know, yeah, yeah, like, okay, with the field. It was like, okay, I move on to the next thing. Not a terrible thing, not a great thing either. It's just, it's a neutral kind of thing. With this guy, I really don't want to take it out of my pocket. I think this is a really great option, but with this guy, when I realized, okay, I've now carried this enough, there was kind of a feeling of, okay, good. <laughs> We're done. Um, and uh, I, I really am done with this pen. I just don't recommend it. If you want to get something that's nice and clicky, you might consider just getting the, the, the bolt action-y sort of thing, um, which gives you some satisfying click and is about the same size and with a better refill. And uh, although it's a lot more expensive, well, 20 bucks more, it's just a better pen overall. Um, or if you're looking for, uh, if you're looking for the, a better refill, you can get the original guy, which actually takes a uh, pilot G2 or a Mont Blanc if you want it there. Or frankly, there are any other number of good pens uh, for, for this kind of price. Heck, just get an original space pen or something like that. Uh, that that's fine. But to me, this is, may, maybe you would like it more. Maybe these things wouldn't bother you. Maybe it won't unscrew in your pocket. But for me, I, I, I really think that buying this pen would be a machine error. So uh, there you go. Get it? Machine error? Machine error? Uh, okay. Anyways, hope this has been interesting to you. Um, and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.